How's it going? All right, here we go. Um, it's time to just get the content rolling. So I decided to do this. Um, this is going to be the beginning of, um, you know, whatever, whatever way you want to put it, you know, but content, um, we'll start putting on some content videos, um, interviews and, you know, all that good stuff. But I figured today we'd start with me. Um, figured, um, what better place to start um, than we're just giving you guys a breakdown of me and my life. So here goes nothing. Um, bear with me. Um, so my mom and dad. Oh, um, pardon the noise. Oh, sorry. Obviously. Um, my mom was from. Detroit, Michigan. Um, she had a couple of brothers, a couple of sisters. Part of me. Um, and her and her um, older sister, Linda, um, they moved to California first, I think, from um, Detroit. And I think that's where they met Tiger Sperry, um, Eddie Rothman, and I think Clyde, my dad's, my brother's dad. Um, and from there, they all moved out to Oahu together. Um, I, and that's when my brother was made. Um, no, he, my, my mom and his dad, Clyde, they lived, I, I don't think they even lived together really. Um, I think Clyde was really around. So i um, pretty sure Uncle Eddie Rothman play, started, played a pretty, played a huge role in my brothers, as well as mine, but my, more my brother's life. Um, as a kid, you know, he was a father figure there for my brother. Um, but so, you know, my mom and Eddie and Clyde and um, all those guys, you know, they have a long history spanning from uh, California to uh, Oahu. And then later on, she would eventually make it to Koi, where she would meet my dad. Um, so, yeah, eventually she did, she moved off of, um, the North Shore and moved to Kauai with my Aunt Linda, her sister, and, um, I don't know exactly where she met my dad, but I do know that he was... 15 or 16 and she was 30 when they had me so it was kind of um played a big a big reason in him uh, not being there you know basically he was so young and it, uh, uh, it didn't not make sense for him to not be there or whatever you know what I mean but um I guess he been sure, you know, I guess, I guess I can go to my dad's side. My dad, he, um, he's from Kauai and his mom, my grandmother, Tua Vivi, she was the only grandparent that I actually knew. Um, sweet lady. She was super freaking crazy too, but super sweet lady. Um, she loved me definitely. And, uh, but it was nice to actually know a grandparent, you know, a lot of people I'm pretty sure take down for granted, but anyway, um, I do remember actually 
living with my my dad and my mom when I was younger, maybe about four and five, maybe five, six. Um, and then eventually, I don't know, they broke up, whatever you call it. Anyway. Um, so, definitely a lot more backstory on where my, my dad's um, history, and as well as my mom's history. Um, so, try to skim through this stuff just to not get too lost. Um, so, my name is Kamale, Ale Kamale Alexander, Kamale Woolsey, Kamale Kekoa Kalani, Woolsey Alexander. Kamale means beloved child and Kekoa Okalani means warrior of the heavens. Uh, and Alexander actually means defender of men. Pardon me. Oh, rookie maneuver. No water. Cut mouth. Do that again. My name is Kamale Kekoa Okalani Woolsey Alexander. Um, I'm born and raised on the island of Kauai, uh, March 15, 1978. Now 40 years old. Um, when we were younger, um, remember living in Kapa across McDonald's. Probably my earliest memories. Um, and then from there, I think we moved to Anahola with my grandmother, with my dad and my mom. And then um, I think from there, maybe we moved to Kapa. Um, it was so mainly all on the east side of the island, um, Anahola, Kapa. But um, Sorry, this is live, so I'm just kind of getting used to this stuff. But so, um, uh, it's, uh, this is hard. This is my first time doing this. You guys got to pardon me. Um, you know, the early years of my life where my mom was basically a um, single mother and you know, she took care of me as well as a, any single mother could, probably even better. Um, my brother wasn't really around. He was kind of running around because mainly he was uh, nine years. He is nine years older than me, so he was doing stuff that, you know, you do when you're his age. Anyway, um, you know, I guess I'll get into more stories of, of that later, but I'm just, just this is just a kind of a background on my, myself. Um So, I think my dad maybe took me body surfing in some of my first memories of surfing um, in the ocean and bodyboarding. And, you know, I guess my brother, Kala, he, um, he would have been getting me some of my first boards. I remember my Channon. Uh, it's probably like a 6'6 six, six or something. Uh, Anyway, started surfing, you know, was surfing with Andy and Bruce Irons. Mm. Who else? Some of my East Side friends were Keala, Kuehu, um, Keone Kuehu, um, Jonah Cummings, Leonard, Mike DeSalio. Um, And there's the older school guys like Chava and Kai and all those guys that, that's who my brother was running around with. But, um, you know, st started competing and there's the Southside gang. There was Milo and Sparky and all those guys on the Southside. And uh, 
Daniel Kelicoma and them on the west side. Um, the North Shore, who was the North Shore, Andy and Bruce, and um, there was Kaipo also from East Side. But, you know, I was mainly surfing Kaylee a wave on the East Side. Um, trade win wave, but it's fun, good fun. I liked it. Um, and on the weekends, my mom would let me go to the North Shore because she was always working late at the music Koi Museum. Um, so she would leave me a chat. We'd go home and she would leave me a blank check. And this is when we were living in Anahola now, down by the river, um, by the store there. She would, I would come home from school and she would leave me a blank check and I would go eat at Ono Char Burger. Pardon me, the mosquitoes. I would go eat at Ono Char Burger and it's definitely some of the better memories of my life. But also on the weekend, she would let me go out to my Aunt Linda. She lived um, at Wainiha and go surf out there. And obviously, a bunch of good waves. Mm. and doing decent in the contest. So I don't think I really would win any of them. Maybe one, but uh, some funny memories, you know. So I was surfing with Andy and Bruce. Andy was definitely a sore loser. <laughs> really wouldn't want to let you do better than him at any cost. Um, but so... Even, uh, in when I was 12, my mom, I was on the North Shore. It was a weekend. It must have been a weekend or big, or big spring or winter vacation or something. But um, super gnarly rain and our house was washed away. And John Pia found my mom clinging to the roots on the river. And, um she was on life support for I think a day or so and we decided to take her off life support. We sang our song and um it was gnarly, but you know, definitely uh, character building to say the least. Um but from there I ended up moving out to the North Shore of Aunt Linda. Um my Uncle Danny, Mahina and, and uh, Danny Boy Jr. <clears throat> and um, I gave up surfing. I was uh, it's over. It's fucking done. Um, and so, you know, 12, 13 years old, I just hung up a surfboard and kind of just turned into this new kid living in the North Shore. And, um, you know, new parents, the whole thing. Um, but when, you know, one of my one of my saviors was was the beach Lumahai. That was right five, two, three minutes from um, Wainiha. And I picked up the body a bodyboard and fins, and um, I just that's all I did was bodyboard. Started bodyboarding um, every day wherever it was, Kaliwai. Uh -oh. Hanlei, all these waves, they would normally surf and no bodyboard. Um, and eventually I started kind of going pro almost, I guess. But uh, yeah, would do the state events, bodyboarding, uh, when I won, won quite a few events, but I think my, my best might have been like fourth in the states at Almoana. Um, I remember going out to Pipeline and getting a wave and bottom turning on the boogie and fucking going straight because it's fucking hard to pull a boogie board up at, at Pipeline. People think it's fucking easy, but those guys just make it look easy. It's hard. Really hard. <clears throat> but so, I guess you know, right around... Um, 16 years old, just, we're all surfing, bodyboarding, Luma High one day, and Andy, I, I don't know, it was just, just bodyboarding, is just too easy already. Um, 
and boring, needlessly. But I asked Andy for a board, gave me a board. It was a Johnson. It was a town and country. Um, those little tribal things he had. Um, and it was on. I was fucking back, surfing again. It felt great. I had to work on my style, as I did, as I always had to as a kid, even. Um, my butt would pop out a lot, but. I was definitely reminded of it by the boys. Um, but so picked up the, picked up the, you know, where I left off and went to Oahu, stayed at Uncle Eddie Rothman, where I was already staying, but he was um, kind of first, probably my first sponsor as a standing up, stand up surfer again at the Hui. And I was staying at his house and went and got second to Andy at the contest at Haleiwa, the Mambo. We used to call it the Mambo. But um, it was six to eight feet, bombing, perfect. And I got second to Andy. And so I felt like, I mean, at the moment, I felt like it was definitely, you know, help me, help me, give me a lot of confidence that I could do it. Um, and so... It really, it really did actually give me the confidence to keep on going, keep on keeping on. But um, from there, um, she's well. I guess my, I forgot to mention my brother got me sponsored when I was younger by Quicksilver. Um, what, like 10, 11, 12. No, it was about 12. It was right before my mom did. Um, but so after coming back, 16, 17, um, and I guess the, one of the big, first big push was me and Reef moved to the North Shore, stayed at Mike Casey's in the, on, the, um, on the side. He has our little one-room thing. We, we split the rent, and it's pretty fucking fun. <laughs> Anyway, um, you know, I haven't gone through these memories in a while, so it's pretty trippy. But uh, I do definitely do remember. I think it was me. I know it was me and Reed, but I think we. I think it was Todd Chester. Might have we might have seen him on, off the wall one day. That was a memory. But um, September Reef was over it. He couldn't handle the crowds and. He, he moved back to Kauai and started cooking at the Wake Up Cafe. And I guess I just kept on kind of mulling it out and eventually got sponsored by maybe Balcom. That have been one of my first sponsors. Um, and... He eventually, not a few years, a few years went by and Reef uh, went to the North Shore, back to the North Shore, got the huge fucking bomb from Second Reef and got a photo and he was, Jeff Hackman or someone put him on, but rightfully so, the guy's fucking gnarly. But um, he just jumped right back in where he should have been. Anyway, um, Flash forward. After we stayed there, I think I started staying at the Welcome House because I could. Because I could. Um, start running. Again, this is trippy when I'm trying to go through these memories with, on, uh, without practicing this. Um, so, uh, I ended up making, getting a couple good video parts with Vulcan, computer body being my best. Um, had a session out to me. 
definitely helped kind of put me put me on the map as far as um surfing and how i surf and um all that stuff so you know Vulcan did me good took care of me for a while um and then I was analog for a few years and then i um went maybe like a year, maybe almost two years uh, without a sponsor. And then Vistula came in and they've been taking care of me for probably almost three or four years now. Definitely the super, super blessed to have those guys in my life. Um, you know, what can I say? They allow me to do this kind of stuff. And live the dream. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I'm trying to want to try to give you guys as much history as I can, but you know, fuck, there's only fucking stories that I think I got. Um, but as far as this, um, this blog or vlog goes, I'm gonna want to, you know, hopefully make a difference and give you guys some good content all the while, you know, some good interviewing, not just fucking your standard cut run of the mill fucking question Ugh. stuff is pretty pretty fucking sanitary and you know it's just blown and boring I don't know what the word is but that's not my goal um you know hopefully come up with some good people to interview but um shit what can I say yeah thanks to all my sponsors Visla, GoPro, Hawaii Cannabis Care, Drink, Green Drink, um, SES. Oh. Um, wow, is, are you watching? Fuck, somebody ch chimed in. Uh, it's Nate Walker. It's heavier. I was just... Uh, so, Nate Walker, your interviews are good. Thank you, Nate. Appreciate it. Do I have to write that back to you? Again, pardon me because I'm learning all this. Um, I was just surprised because no one actually knows. So I guess I'm going to try and do this now that you did that, Nate. I heard you. Yeah, Nate. All right, um, sorry about that. I am going to try to Montauk Soul, how's it going? I am doing a vlog, um, a live vlog right now on my YouTube page. And Nate Walker chimed in unknowingly because I was just doing this live. I'm doing a live YouTube vlog because it's just easier, I'm pretty sure. Um, how's it going, Turtle Surf? Tom, Zim, 1968. You guys ask me something if you can, if you want. Um, anyway, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So, I'm going to start doing some. J Magic, are you there? Are you still there? So, I'm going to start doing my vlog. Um, I'm just showing, I just did a 25 minute piece um, on kind of my background, on my history. So I put up, yeah, Jonah, um, I put up 
or this thing is live now on YouTube if you guys want to go check it out. But um, it will be on my YouTube page. Just go to my name. Um, but, 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 but so I put up a pretty decent background. Sorry, it's not two, two, two things at once. Um, all right, here we go. Sorry, you guys. Sorry, Nate. Um, all right, everybody on Insta, I am doing the beginning of my live and my vlog on YouTube under my name. Um, right now, I am live on the YouTube on the YouTube. Pardon me, this is all fucking new. I'm gonna have to get used to this, so bear with me. But so, um, once you do a live thing for YouTube, it automatically gets uploaded. So I felt like it was the easiest way for me to do a uh, vlog. And anyway, where would I start now? I guess I would just try to inform you guys to go and check it out. It's on YouTube, probably under my name, but it won't be still live. So when I end this, it'll be automatically uploaded to that. But so I put a pretty decent background bio in. It's uh it's at twenty six minutes now, but you guys go check it out. Um, background on me and I mean, you guys let me know who um, who you think I should go try to get a hold of. Put on the put on the grill. Um, and if I sound horrible or whatnot. XRP, Jonah, watch out. <laughs> you see the newest one, Jonah? I'll show you and die. I'll show you it comes up. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. It ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. Ooh, sorry, That's guys. how winning right. is done. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, I'm going to get I've out of here before I start sounding like an idiot. Is that but thanks for chilling in. Who you are. Go to my YouTube, You're please. And You're going to get knocked on the uh, ground. Um, and that's just the way life works. Pardon me. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, um, how I should do it better. I'm always open to suggestions. Um, I got a lot of stuff planned as far as information. To Liam, my, to Liam, my, to Liam, late. Bon dia. Bon dia. Obrigado. Janet Brody Tevis joined in. I Auntie Janet. So what? My wife got the job. All's good. Oh, my wife had a little scare with her Hawaiian Airlines thingy. Anyway. Um What's good, you guys out there? What um anybody surf today? What are you up to, Jonah? Um All right, I'll come back, you guys. Thanks for chiming in. Go to my YouTube. Mahalo. Interview a badass fisherman, Garen fucking T. Um, yeah, I think that would be a good, um, even a good starter, guarantee. Um, well, how did you see my thing, Nate? How did you um, find it? What would it, what is it on? Is it on a live page? Um, where are you at? What, you know any gnarly fishermen? I know a couple. I'm just curious if you know a couple. Oh, what else? The Dane one. Um, yeah, it's been a while. 
feel like I got to do it a little better, get some better stuff. Um, but again, this is just kind of a test, so I won't we'll go back, check it out, see how I did. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it, Nate. Appreciate it. Mahalo, you guys. Hello. See, I don't even know how to stop this thing. Top chat. Say something. Live. <laughs> 